It's setting up for disappointment in Tampa. And follow me on this, because I think Mm -hmm. the Rams are the better team. And everybody is embracing the Rams. That makes me a little nervous when you go against Tom Brady. I know they got line issues. You got two top receivers, Godwin and Brown not in. I don't know how good uh, Leonard Fournette's going to be. (sighs) Too many people like the Rams here. What do you think? That makes you nervous. Uh, I'm with you. A little um, bit. A little bit. Just... Yeah. You've, you've been in this biz a long time to, you know, when, when everyone thinks you're going to win. I mean, that's – it just gives bulletin board material to the other side. And Tom Brady is sitting over there. So, uh, the peop- the, the fact that people favor Rams right now, it's, it's, it doesn't even get into my kitchen. Uh, it's Tom Brady, and you're going to his house. He, are, he is the defending champs. I said this right after we left SoFi when the, the Rams beat Arizona. Uh, great game. Your your gift for beating the Arizona Cardinals is you get the defending champs at their house next week. Yeah. The NFL is doing you no favors. You did yourself no favors with that. So uh, favor in the Rams, good. But it's still going to be a tough out no matter what. Rams win this game because of defense or offense? Hopefully because of offense, really. Um, I, I hope the the good Matthew Stafford you know, shows up, the one we saw in Arizona, the one that is great behind the running game where you don't have to put it up 35, 40 times. Um, the one that doesn't turn the ball over and put your defense in bad situations. So I hope it's the offense. I hope Cam Akers coming back uh, has as much impact as it did versus Arizona. I hope Sony Michelle being uh, sharing the load at running back is going to kind of keep the offense on, on pace, on schedule, and the defense off balance. If you got to throw it and – it becomes a passing game between Brady and Stafford. That's, I wouldn't want that for anybody's quarterback. I really wouldn't. I wouldn't want that pressure. So I hope the running game is there to kind of pace it, help Sean McVay, call a better game, and you keep Brady on the sidelines for as long as possible. 